Thank you, Shadrach, for that report. But now we go to our segment that is what's trending today in studio. With me is Raymond Muthe from the Digital Desk as we have this conversation. Good morning, Raymond Muthe. You're warm? Good morning, I said, I am. Your eat was well spent? I hope yours was too. Mine was well, well spent. Mine. But I was actually working. Ah, okay. Mine was well spent. I was at the mosque because you're breaking the fast, so mm -hmm. yeah. But now let's go straight to matters to do with the Eid celebrations. Um, yes. What stood out for you with regard to the celebrations across the country? Mm, particularly from uh, photojournalists on the ground. There was uh, the, the coming together of young and old people to celebrate Eid was uh, not a mean feat, actually. And various leaders celebrated uh, all across the country. And we even see, I don't know, Asito, if that's... Is that, is that part of the tradition to see people who are not Muslim even dressing up in kanzus and, and hijabs to celebrate Eid? Uh, you know, kanzus, um, for a very long time, there's a misconception that yeah. it is specifically Muslim, but it's just a cloth. You know, it's only really? that Muslims <laughs> wear it a lot, but it's just a piece of cloth. Uh, okay. Because you go to the mosques uh, even without kanzus, and still yeah. you, you get to perform your prayers, but yeah. It mm. is associated with Muslims mostly. Yeah. Of course, there was memes of people going <laughs> memes doing rounds of people dressing in kanzus and saying <laughs> <laughs> those, those were some of the things that were going on online about Eid. But Kenyans uh, were really in uh, celebratory moods. Even leaders wishing all Muslims across the country, Muslim faithfuls, uh, Eid Mubarak. And from us to you, Eid Mubarak. Bin Aydin. And do you have a kanzu? I do not. I'll get you <laughs> Unfortunately. One. I'll get you one. I'll get you one for the Eid that is Eid al-Adha. Uh -huh. I shall get you one for that, yeah? <laughs> but now let's go uh, to the Dedan Kidmati University. What's mm -hmm. happening in this university? Well, there's uh, 180 shillings going around to each and every student from a 1 million shilling donation by President William Ruto. And it's interesting to see this because the decision was made through a Google poll that involved all students and 51% of them supported the sharing of funds, while well, the others said the funds should go into a bursary. And the move, of course, definitely sparked reactions because 180 shillings is not that much money considered with the tough economic times currently. But there were different comments online, even with other students talking about how 180 shillings could go a long way for comrades' lunch. I don't know if your university days were the same, but <laughs> clearly from, from the numbers here and from what people are saying online, in terms of 180 shillings being enough for lunch. I think Kenyans had mixed, mixed reactions on this one. I personally didn't think 180 shillings would be enough for lunch. But if I reminisce on my campus days, I think it will be more than enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you're given a choice to uh, whether it goes to sharing or bursary, what mm -hmm. would you choose? I, I'd choose bursaries, mm -hmm. honestly. What if you don't get it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a conversation for another day. But yeah. now also we have uh, this issue to do with the grading in the neck and exams mm -hmm. and all that, and there is an error that has occurred. Yeah. Just what are netizens saying with regard to this issue? Well, there was a printing error with uh, the Kenya National Examinations Council that was pitting the KCSE, that's 2023 KCSE, and the system glitch costs the omission of a minus in the, in the grades. So for instance, if you had a D minus, for instance, uh, that meant your re results would reflect as a D. Mm. And the error affected about 3,018 candidates across uh, 1,059 examination centers. Of course, Kenyans online were really concerned about this and were calling for accountability with the same. And for such a mistake, uh, Kenyans were not having it online, actually. From what I saw online and the comments that were going around, people were really trying to understand how a mistake of that magnitude could have gotten to the stages of printing, because actually some printouts had already been made of, of those results and that did not contain the minus, and that was of heavy concern to Kenyans online. It had been trending for a particular section of uh, the day. And of course, MPs also expressed concerns that uh, the confusion will have caused trauma to the students. Imagine having a D and then you realize it was a D minus. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, that, that is also what people are talking about online. But generally, that mistake was not taken well by Kenyans online. I think even the challenge now is for the ministry to come clear because this mm. calls for auditing and convince yes. people who've already received the results that indeed you did mm. not get, say, a B minus, uh, you did not get a B but a B minus or a <laughs> D or whatever. Yeah. It is the ministry to come clean and convince Kenyans because yes. that error should not 
have occurred. But yes, yes it's a story that you're following up for mm -hmm. the viewers at home. We shall be bringing you the very latest. And now let's go to the matter on um, Edwin Kipto. You know who Edwin Kipto is, yeah? Edwin Kipto? Yes. Okay, you know who Chiloba is? Yes. Yes, now tell us about <laughs> Chiloba. <laughs> Interesting that you, you started from the back uh, all the way to the front. Anyways, Jackson Othiambo, is, who is a prime suspect in the murder of a uh, LGBTQ activist, Edwin Kipto, uh, who is also known as Chiloba. I said, you said Edwin Kipto, and I was a little confused because I knew him as Edwin Chiloba. <laughs> But anyways, his, his, his murder, which was also taken up by the High Court, and this case had been of public interest, heavy public interest, especially for people who used to follow his content online. And now it is emerging that Jackton of the Ambo had gone on a spending spree, even using money that belonged to Edwin Chiloba. And he visited various entertainment joints, hotels, and even paying for massage. And mm -hmm. Interestingly, Kenyans were taking note, online Kenyans were taking note of the fact that some of the money that uh, Jackton Odiambo is alleged to have uh, taken from uh, Edwin Chiloba, he even used it to buy the metal box that the remains of uh, Edwin Chiloba were found in. And that was the point that was trending the most out of all this story. And of course, the fact that he even paid for massage, I mean, Kenyans really took issue with that with the gruesome murder of uh, Edwin Chiloba that now the court is following, there's that particular interest in just how confident will this man be in spending money belonging to someone who he murdered. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a case that the, the, the court is keenly following, even as Kenyans online continue to weigh in with, with, as, with as much uh, regret and, and pain as, 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 <laughs> as is being expressed in the comment sections of this stories online mm -hmm. but that particular bit about the metal box was trending heavily mm -hmm. yeah and yes indeed that is the matter that is in court we wait to see uh, the final verdict that will come um, from the courts it's a matter that you're also following because it is of interest to the entire public thank you very much um Mude. as we continue to follow up on what is happening please remind me of your comes a little bit later <laughs> once you're out of this place but now we go straight to our top story and the breaking news that you've just received right now is that June Jabet, daughter of late President Daniel Moy and sister to former Baringo Senator uh, Gideon Moy died earlier today. Now the family is asking for patience and privacy as they continue to mourn their beloved daughter and sister. That is June Chebet Moy, daughter to late President Daniel Moy, has died today at the age of 60. Now she is uh, the sister to former Baringo Senator Gideon Moy. It is a story that broke out earlier today. It is a matter that we continue to focus on, but the family has asked that and requested that we give them time and privacy as they continue to mourn their daughter who died earlier today. It is a matter that you're continuing to follow up for you, but I will take a short commercial break right here. When we come back, we shall be bringing you a matter that is of public interest as well, road carnage in the country, and how we should be handling the same scene a bit.